so there's a going joke I got to kind of like blame you for, Blake. Okay. So ever since you called me Gloppel Daddy, <laughs> everyone's like, hey there, Gloppel Daddy. <laughs> hey, Gloppel Daddy. Did you say so, someone hashtagged it? <laughs> yes, they have. All right, Buzz Buzz Babies, and welcome back to another episode of Blake's Buzz. This week, I've got a returning guest. I am so stoked for this new comic. It's very cool for me because it was my first editorial credit in comics. That's right. We're moving beyond the microphone into production. Also, it's just a very cool world, very cool comics, and a great message. I'm so stoked to bring this creator back on the show. I got Matthew Cole in the house. What's up, baby? How are you doing, sir? What's up, Blake? How you doing, bud? I'm great. It's Saturday morning, and what is better than Saturday morning cartoons than hanging out with somebody who's got Saturday morning cartoons in his soul, which is you, Matthew. Let's uh, go, man. You are just the right kind of nerd at the right kind of time. Like I said, I I'm stoked for this message that you have. You know, you you you're you're writing this thing uh, that is is good for it's it's good for kids. Uh, you've got a flair for collectors, right? To get to get the uh, you know collectors our ages or so that have been in the game for a little bit you, you you know how to play the variant game and like i said you got a really strong message of like don't judge a book by its cover being a hero is hard being a good person is hard but it's it's a it's a hard road worth traveling right and i think that's a good message in, in today i think we need it i think we need that reminder yeah, so man. long story i guess i guess i'm just like i'm gonna keep rambling because i'm just excited but i guess how how you been since since we last talked right gloppel has shipped and and now what are we here to talk about folks the gloppel verse is expanding and i'm gonna give it over to matt to let us know what is yeah. up in the gloppel world Love ninja turtley awesomeness <laughs> <laughs> thanks dude. and we're the turtle brothers what made you want to at this at this juncture at this time of 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 gloppel like what made you want to extend the world and and ready gloppel girl for her debut on the on the on the streets of of the of the of the city that needs her yeah so um first of all you know i'm so happy that you were the one that edited the uh book this is your first time editing correct the uh, comic yeah i comic. was uh, i've yeah. done like i was i've done like uh edited college uh lit magazines uh in, in oh, my cool. undergrad and stuff and and did some yeah I, I, so i've been on some editorial teams but yeah first first comic book nice. uh, editing job and it was it was so fun dude uh it was it was a great script uh you and you and murphy uh too right. uh, again you've got uh it's it's not just it's not just you writing this you've brought in um a, a cohort so like literally expanding the gloppel world expanding the creative team yep. um what's it what's it like man is it is it is it kind of is it kind of scary kind of freaky like letting the reins go and, and is your baby it's your little it's your little oh, gloppel yeah. baby right yeah. <laughs> well last time so there's a going joke i gotta kind of like blame you for blake okay so ever since you called me gloppel daddy <laughs> everyone's like Hey there, Gloppel Daddy. Hey, Gloppel Daddy. Did you say so, someone hashtagged it? <laughs> yes, they have. They've hashtagged it, okay? So, <laughs> so everyone, listen real quick. If you go to my profile at Real Matt Cole on Facebook, you'll see the three things that I'm most known for. And the third one is not Gloppel Daddy, the Gloppel Father, okay? Instead <laughs> of Godfather. <laughs> We need to flip the script, Blake, on this deal. All right, all right, all right. The glo the Gloppel father. I like it. I like it. Uh, and still reigns true. You are you are still the the mastermind behind the scenes, the the puppeteer uh, pulling the strings. But uh, like with this, uh, we're here to talk about Gloppel Girl, which is live yep. on Kickstarter right now. If you go to Kickstarter, uh, you can you can find it. Uh, if you follow Matt, uh, you, he's got links to it everywhere. And in the YouTube description, by the way, I'll have links. There's plenty of places you can find to get to this Kickstarter campaign. But Gloppel yeah. Girls Live, it is very, very cool. Um, the the world is expanding. This is the, the Gloppel. Is, you're three issues into the Gloppel. Now Gloppel Girl is launching. I know you've got other plans too, but what what made you want to bring on? Uh, you know, Murphy is is a super talented writer, been in the industry a long time, and I know you know her through relationships with like legends and stuff. But what made you want to bring on a co writer this time? And, and I appreciate you asking that. And um, so here's the thing, Blake, and, and to everyone that's watching, or to all my fans, or to Gloppel. I mean, Gloppel's growing. You know, 
Um, as you know, Blake, we've talked about this before, all ages group of comics is a little challenging, you know, um, because most people, um, I've written children's books before Gloppo. I did, you know, about a little lightning bug and, you know, I did uh, actually the Gloppo was a children's book before we talked about that on the last video. Mm -hmm. um, here's the thing though. So Gloppo Girl um, really, really has an awesome story. As you know, you edited it and she so let me go back to square one real quick, okay? So right. Gloppel is expanding, and everyone, I get this question now. Ever since I launched it, you know, I think we're at 14, 15 backers, which isn't a lot. You know, I really want to get 25, 30, 40. But again, all ages is is a little challenging. And mm -hmm. people like buying from me directly or from my uh, from the publisher's website, legendskidspublishing.com. But there's something that you can get really cool right now on the Kickstarter, and I'm going to get into that in just a second. But to answer your question, I, I didn't. Okay. So let me, let me say this um, the best way I can. I'm a visionary, Blake, if you know anything about me, I, yes, sir. I love creating, I love, I have ideas. I have so many ideas going through my brain. It's just with my dyslexia sometimes and just my ADD and, you know, I have a couple other things that I, that I, um, that are challenging sometimes for me. I'm like, you know, for this be the best thing it can be. I came up with the story idea, the story concept um, from page one to page 24. Uh, Murphy added a couple things in there, but I wanted to get the best out there. Okay. And I've known Murphy for, uh, I'd be going on, see, two, two or three years now. Mm -hmm. uh, Legends Publishing, and now we're doing Legends Kids. But I said, you know what? Well, who better can I bring on that helped me with Gloppo issue one, two, and three? And um, she does a lot of the graphic design. She did all the trade dress design on Gloppo Girl, by the way. Nice. She um, did all of that design work. And I said, you know what? I want to. I want to. I. I don't want to let the fans down because of my mind, and I have so many things going on and businesses and different things. So I brought her in. I talked to her about it, and, and um, we made a deal, and we talked about it, and, and she's like, you know what? I want to do this. So uh, to answer your question, yeah, being a creator. One, one thing that's frustrating, Blake, if you've ever created anything, bro, I think I'm sure you have many different things. You're, you're the master of awesomeness. And, <laughs> um, if I could be half as good as you, I'm, I'm happy. Okay. Oh, you're silly. You're silly. <laughs> you're, you're super cool. But if anybody that's watching or um, that has ever created anything, it's very hard to do this, you know, Yes. to let go and to allow someone else to take your baby, you know? Mm-hmm. Blake said, I'm the Gloppel daddy. I'm the Gloppel father, right? Uh, Ernie on Comics Elite Live calls me Mr. Gloppel. Like everybody that, I mean, I'm walking in my town. They're like, oh, we love your blueberry Gloppel snowball, you know? And, <laughs> yeah, you're on you're on food menu items. You have a Gloppel. <laughs> folks, he had, I don't, did Gloppel Day happen? Oh, yeah, man. At, at, well, did, did it happen before our last interview or after? Yeah, I don't, after, I'm not sure. But after. yeah, so like you got a whole day yeah. you and you yeah. and gloppel like that's yeah. so cool yeah, june, yeah like it was june 8th last month on a crazy on... hard to let and you're not letting go of like everything right yeah. but this is that's a big deal for you to to bring in someone else and and help but, help you tell the story and continue well, and i gotta say this blake murphy killed it yeah um, she did a really a good job guys i have goosebumps right now just thinking about everything we have um, i got gloppel bumps going on here <laughs> <laughs> but we and, 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 and I don't even, I'm, I'm, let, let me go back to, because my, my ADD will get going here and I'll, and I'll be a squirrel. I'll be on something else. But let me answer your question real quick. So I brought her in. Gloppel is expanding. And here's the number one question I get, Blake, is why is she a human, right? Hmm. Why did you choose to bring a girl into it, not make a pink dragon fruit Gloppel girl character? Yeah. Because I believe, you know, that every great superhero story, every single one, every team, okay, you have to have a human element to me, in my own personal opinion, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Ninja Turtles, you have the four turtles, you have Master Splinter, but, you know, there's still a human element there, right? Yeah. So, I, I just felt in my heart, man, I just really felt like this is like, man, if people really knew what Gloppo Girl really means to me. Um, I get a little, a little emotional because that's her story is, oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even say this enough. And you know, this Blake, and I don't want to say any spoilers, but nothing can get this girl down. Okay. Mm -hmm. She is like positive, positive, positive. And I, and I wanted to reiterate that Murphy uh, wanted to reiterate that because that's who I am, man. That is the, at the core of 
Matt Cole is Mr. Positive that, you know what? Things are rough. You know, the world's going crazy right now, but you know what? There's still a sun shining. Okay. Yes, sir. So I, I, I'm, I'm just, I want to reiterate that with this story. And I think Murphy, well, not, I didn't think, I know Murphy just killed it guys. And if you, here's the thing, I just wrote this and, and I kind of, you know, I, I, it's a spinoff from Walt Disney and it says, I don't just primarily write kids comics. I write comics for the kid in all of us. Okay. <laughs> if you're age seven or 70, ask this man right here. You're going to love it. I'm telling you, Galapagos is not just for, you know, I know it says all ages, but that's really what it is. It's all ages. Yeah. I have so many different demographics, Blake. You know that from people from kids, six, seven, eight year olds to 40, 30, 50, 20. I mean, there, it's everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's everywhere. So yeah, if, if that explains it, you know, it was hard for me, but when I knew Murphy, I didn't want, I'll be honest with you, Blake, I've had people message me, um, really, really top tier, um, writers and artists. And, and I wanted Murphy, man. Nice. Murphy. And, uh, she's just loving it. She's doing a great job and it gives her something else to work on too. You know, yeah. it's like her stuff. It's something different and something fun. So yeah, yeah she, no, she's that's, she's, she's, she's very talented, great writer doing, doing a lot of cool stuff in comics, comics herself. Uh, great, great to see, great to see, uh, uh, but yeah, a, a global girl, like you mentioned, it's it is a it's a strong story, and it's a, it's a story of resilience, right? And and I love that. I love that, like, because resilience. You know, most people you think of resilience, and it's like it's like don't give up. Like that's the go to, right? But it's don't give up is like that's that's a start, right? But like also like don't give up on people. Um, don't give up on your day, right? You know, like it's, you, the day can have a, a rough start, but can end end great, right? And she she inhabits like every iota of that right just like yep. nothing ever gets her down um life life kicks her she's in an orphanage right that's already <laughs> she's already she's having a very rough life and just yep. refuses to let that impact her day very powerful character it was so fun to edit her and like watch you all like adjust the dialogue a little bit watch like the scenes come alive cookie the dog there's a dog oh there's a dog that's she's some, back here if you can see yeah, the real yeah co- the cookie based off a, a real life uh adorable there's canine cookie. real life <laughs> real life cookie right there <laughs> uh the the first first interview appearance uh from uh the glopple writer and and uh cookie uh, it's amazing it's amazing <laughs> blake's buzz moment right now uh, <laughs> but that was uh, like even then and the, uh, the you know very interesting how you both were able to like it, it had a good balance right it you because we had to introduce these characters uh we had to we had to introduce a rivalry a very intense rivalry too right um and then uh and just like a, a cool origin story to, you know and it, it all worked in in, in in one issue and came together and again i'm really uh i'm excited to see where where you both uh end up taking them and and i'm excited to see more of like you know her like putting putting on the cowl basically right like watching her learn to be a hero uh both like mentally and physically i always like that in comics i think that's always a strong arc is that are those hard to write matt because like, you're 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 a dad you're a, a karate instructor so you know you you help people you you guide them on this path even your social media presence is, is real strong like that you know you're very good yeah. about that like hey what are we doing today what are we excited digital marketing for cowboy <laughs> there you go right yeah the digital marketing cowboy strikes again baby right. um but is is it hard for you uh to put some of that into a script right like and and because you can't you can't be too overbearing with it uh because you have to give your story and characters time to shine right so you can't you can put a little bit of yourself into it but not but not too much. You, you work that yeah. balance real well. Like, how do you, how do you do that when you're scripting? So, well, so uh, I'm going to give you a little secret guys. First on Blake's buzz. Okay. There we go. Um, I am not the best script writer. Okay. <laughs> um, I can write a story, a book, but okay. it's more of a children's book. Like the Gloppel walked down the alley. Hey, how are you? Said the Gloppel, you know, okay. like it, it's more a children's book esque. Okay. I'm not a script writer. I'm going to be honest with everyone. I'm not a script writer. You know, Gloppa one, two, and three, I wrote all of that. Murphy did. I'm going to give her credit. She helped oh, me cool. do script mode. Okay. You know, 
Um, I wrote the whole story, you know, she just helped me get it into script mode, you know, um, writing elements. Cause I, I'll be honest, it, it just, I don't, I just don't write that way. I can write a whole book. I can mm -hmm. write stories and cool ideas and all this kind of stuff, but getting it into the script, like panel by panel, I'll be honest, Blake, I've tried. It's not me. So that's it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's, it's very, it's very different Murphy, than like prose. Yeah. I gave her my book. I said, here's Gloppel girl. <laughs> um, maybe at some point I'll release like, you know, there is a part of the original book idea that it's pr probably too dark for a kid's book. <laughs> oh, wow. Like there was, you know, um, some drugs from her parents and different things. Oh. And like it was really dark, like really dark. And Murphy's like, you know, let's cut this part out. Okay. <laughs> And start with her at the orphanage, you know, but I do have an idea about bringing her um, other aspect of like, who are her parents and all that kind of stuff. But we're focused on her right now. So Murphy, I have to give it to her. I don't, I'll be honest with you, man. I don't know how she does it. Um, she's just super talented. Script writers are super talented. She can take a book, a four or five pager of just written down like a children's book. And then she takes my ideas and takes my story. And then she just writes a script. So I have to give it to her, man. I have no idea. Maybe at some point we can get her on here and talk about how she does that with Gloppel and how, how she felt about taking this over, you know, and, and yeah. you know, holding on to it. You know, she, she is so respectful. Oh my gosh. You were too Blake messaging me and saying, Hey man, is this okay? Is this, I mean, because I just feel like that working with you, working with Murphy, uh, working with all these artists and stuff. I'm just so privileged and so humbled and honored that I have this great people that are um, believe in what I'm doing. You know, you, you do have a, a wildly uh, a, a eclectic and talented and awesome, like, and I'm not just, I'm not even talking about me as an editor, but uh, you oh, know, come on, just come recently, on, like... <laughs> okay, fine. But like, uh, but you, you've got a ton of artists and, and you continue to drop like really cool. You did like a, a, a day of the dead or so, not a day of the dead uh, uh it's a uh, werewolf by night homage. Werewolf, yeah you did the the werewolf by night homage recently uh yep. the the disney uh gloppel story homage yep. recently and you're are you still are you still planning on doing more disney covers yeah, down yeah, the road so, so that, that, that's another thing um so my exclusive i mean it, people just love um the gloppel character okay mm -hmm. he just looks you know, fun, you know, whipped cream on his, I mean, he just, he looks different. People yeah. like, love him. They just like, love him. So, you know, like the, uh, on the Galapal Kickstarter right now, guys, the uh, X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 141 homage. Yeah. Okay? That's a cool variant. Days of Future Past. And, and so if everyone sees the red ninja, okay, that is Rasp. Okay. That is the next Galapal hero. And his first full appearance is in Gloppel Girl. Okay. So he's in there, guys. Okay. Right? So this is a monumental issue to me because one of my favorite, favorite characters is coming up in the next issue is Rasp. And I'm telling you, Blank, um, I'm going to let you look at it again like we did before. I'm telling you, man, like if you love Ninja Turtles, if you love cool ninja martial arts kind of books mm -hmm. oh my freaking goodness this book is going to be sick nice. I'm you. <laughs> but I'm excited. his 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 story man starts really in gloppel girl and i'm not gonna you know there's a little spoiler on the kickstarter campaign um rasp shows up to the orphanage and i'm not gonna say what happens but it's really really cool guys and so this is his first cover appearance on this homage Oh, nice. Uh, I think we've already sold like eight or nine, I think. Um, they're limited. Um, so it's kind of, a, it's a really key issue. First time he's ever been on cover. Um, and I just, gosh, Matt Chambers did that cover. He, he just killed it. Uh, he did really good. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a, I, I love the, I love the cover. And it's, you know, it's, I thought it was, that was also smart uh, marketing cowboy. Because uh, like, what's everyone talking about right now? X-Men, because they're, they're, the new books are relaunching that, that just started uh, right. just just started this week um so yeah good time good time to drop an x-men homage when you got a live <laughs> kickstarter uh when the x-men's are rebooting so very yep, cool yep. um yeah it's again you know we we've we've said this a couple times like the all ages thing and and this is something that i learned myself and i try to profess this anytime i can like do not let an all-age tag 
defer you from reading it. There are some truly great things. Take, for instance, like if Stranger Things were a comic, right? If, if or which it is, right? But if, if Stranger Things started as a comic, or mm -hmm. let's think of like Paper Girls, that's considered like all ages or YA kind of because it has right. its it has its cast is teenagers. They're in high schools. That that's all it really means. Like right. how many great horror movies have you seen where the cast is in high school still? The faculty. <laughs> it's the best yeah. one. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I but like and it has an amazing soundtrack. Anyway, but regardless, we've all been younger. It's nice to kind of well for some of us it's the glory days. To some of us it's the gory days, right? But it's it's right. it's our, our high school pasts are, are tumultuous and various, but still, <laughs> it's nice to go back there sometimes. So it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like a book only for kids, right? It's right. a book for everybody, and it really is. And it's very inviting. It's very welcoming. If if you're new to the Gloppel, this new series will let you, like, find, like, a seat, a front row seat, and invite you into the world just fine um, but also, if you are new, I would probably encourage you to get some of those add-ons on the Kickstarter campaign because those Glapple books are there too. It's a it's a cool book, and and I'm not just you know even if um and it, I I am involved in it. You know, I was I edited Glopple Girl, Metal Ninja Studios worked with Matt before on on the on some previous Glopple stuff. So like yeah, hey, it is guys. Hey, Metal Ninja Studios do the lettering. Yeah, so it, it's it, we it's 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 close to heart, but it's I'm 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 proud of it, and 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 I'm I'm proud to say that that me that we worked on this, we did an awesome job on it at work, and all of us, the whole team, and the creators behind it are very excited for you to read it, uh, yeah. and and excited for you to check out. Like I I can't even imagine what gnarly Glopple Girl variants Matt has crawling around yeah. in his head ready to to drop later on his web store or whatever, right? Like, I I know you're already coming up with crazy ideas. Oh, yeah. And, and that's the thing that I love, man. So, you know, a lot of people, um, that, I mean, I've been asked, man, by some of the biggest executives in, in some of the industry that have talked to me. And um, I'm just, and this is what I always say, I'm, I'm really a nobody, you know? I, I'm just, I'm a guy that loves 90s i got my surge can right here you know like, what that's a surge yeah. can funko yeah surge can buddy no surge way can. surge can funko. i've never seen that before dude i remember when they brought surge back for a short time <laughs> and you could only buy it on amazon prime and they sold so guys, out people right. were selling cans for like 75 bucks and i bought i bought uh i bought a case of it i got a case of it like when it was regular price yeah uh, and oh man, I was Bro, my, I was like my gamer tag oh, on search. Xbox. Yeah. The search Matt. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a huge search fanatic. I got some guys that we do. It's spots. so good. It's I mean Surge I love I favorite. love Mountain Dew like it, but Surge was I still because my parents I I I had cool parents right so like yeah. when the friends came over for the weekend like they'd let everybody spend the night we'd have like pizza parties yeah. they'd let us rent rated our horror movies at blockbuster yeah. that's right yeah. i'm old we had blockbuster we rented vhs <laughs> tapes okay like um but yeah it was like surge and pizza baby surge pizza mortal Kombat yeah. three are you kidding me matthew like let's go boy the good old days baby god but so, Take so me back. I'm, I'm glad you said that man <laughs> so everyone that watches this everyone knows i'm a 90s fanatic I love 90s, right? I talk about it all the time. I'm always sharing stuff on my profile. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. And I say this, and I don't, and I'm not just saying this to toot my own horn here, okay? But if you love 90s nostalgia or just cool comics, Ninja Turtles, Mega Man, Sonic, anything He-Man, any of that kind of stuff, you're going to love Globble. The Globble verse is growing, and it's, I'm telling you, oh my gosh. Next year, I got invited. I'm just going to throw this out there, and I hope I can go. Hope everything works out. Hopefully, the stars align, you know. Mm -hmm. But next year, I got invited to the biggest licensing expo in the world in Las Vegas. Okay. Whoa. To present Glopple, Glopple Girl, Rasp in front of the biggest companies in the world Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney, DreamWorks, and the, and the list goes on. Wow. So, guys, I'm going to say this right now, okay, on Blake's Buzz, okay? that my goal is to have a blockbuster film, a three film, Glopple one, two, and three with Glopple Girl. I want this to be massive, okay? But not just to make money, all right? If anybody knows this about Matt Cole, money does not drive me, Blake, okay? I've been offered tens of thousands of dollars for my property, 
No one knows that, okay? I've been offered a huge check, all right? I'm not taking it. Why? Because I believe, I really believe this, man, that there's people out there that need to hear this message, okay? That anyone can be a hero, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, you can make a difference. You can make a difference in somebody's life. Blake, you've made a difference in my life. You have no idea of who you've touched, bro, okay? And whoever's watching, listen to me, guys. Galopal isn't just a tasty, fruity, jiggly snack, okay? It is a unlikely hero. I'm, 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 I'm getting my little 60-second spiel here, okay? <laughs> but he's an unlikely hero that rises up to find his purpose, that he says, you know what? I can be a hero, and you can be a hero. Sorry. There's my little <laughs> dude. No, that was, be that was beautiful, dude. And, it, and dude, I, I love passionate, that. I'm passionate, bro. I'm it, passionate about. It's it. such a good slogan. Like anyone can be a hero, even you, right? Because because right. you know what it, you know what it reminds me of, kind of, but in a better way. Because it, it reminds me of like the Uncle Slam, the Uncle Sam slogan, right? Like we need you, but it's that's like it, like you. we need you to we need you to fight, and we need you. But this is okay. like we need you to love, and we need you to be right. the you know we need you to like love those around you protect those around you make you know make a stranger's day better uh right. great again great great message and that's every page of this is 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 chock full of that is is yeah. is good vibes good overcoming evil sometimes yeah. it's hard sometimes yeah. you don't know if it's gonna happen or not right but right. it's it's a it's a it's a just fight and it's it's illustrated wonderfully like you i love um you're you you like i said that you find amazing artists to do your variants but the the uh your interior artist and you guys are like super buddies like i don't know if you saw the uh the the news so um jose trinos did global one two and three he mm -hmm. did global girl okay um but he has some career opportunities now so matt chambers the guy that did days of the future past uncanny x-men 141 homage mm -hmm. will be the interior artist moving forward like, oh wow so i just made that announcement a couple days ago um, as long as everything works out, you know, in the comic book industry, things can happen. Yeah. But as the recording of this video, we plan on having Matt Chambers in that style on that cover, um, do Glopple moving forward. So very cool. Uh, we're excited about that. It's it's just a whole new. Um, I want to, you know, we've only done four books, but it feels like we've done a whole universe in four books. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've done you know? so many like variants and exclusives yeah. and events and stuff. And and you, you have really cool variants too, right? So your variants, when you pitch these to artists, right? Like I like, it feels like your variants tell a story themselves, right? Do, so do. it does, I'm sure it does feel like magnet, like it, it feels huge, right? And it, and it is, what did you say the other day? Like also big congratulations for this. What Like 10,000 total units sold, like yep. for over the course of uh, Glopple's like existence, dude, that's, yep that's titanic that's massive like that's amazing crazy. amazing for you and and your co-creators like that's and, and, a huge and achievement was, and, and, I, and i was um very careful about saying that because um because I, I wanted to take i want to talk to legends i wanted to talk to um inventory um i want to look at the warehouse see what we have left what we don't have mm -hmm. it took me months months after doing all these variants and exclusives and being in lunar and being in comic book shops so we're a little over 10,000 sold, man. And wow. uh, I don't know if I've, I think I've publicly said this, but I'm, I'm the only creator for Glopple. Um, okay. There's no other um, creator uh, besides my uncle that actually co-created the Glopple character design. Um, oh, I didn't know Glopple. your uncle did that. Yeah, my uncle did a variant too. Oh, wow. He did a variant, um, uh, I think it was last year. Or, or, yeah, it was last year, I think February of last year, March, something like that. Uh, but he did his own variant cover. He's the co-creator of the Glopple character design, not the story or nothing like that, but okay. just, just the character. I think I said that in the last video. I can't remember, but it's been a while. So, you know, I, I just, Blake, I can't reiterate this enough. If you just love cool comics, guys, okay, don't let the, like Blake says this, he said this last time, and he says this in several different posts he does. Don't let the all ages think, oh, it's only for kids. Yeah. No, this isn't, this is a bluey. No, which there's a lot of people love blue. I love blue. Also, blue is amazing, but I can't. I love blue. I'm sorry, Matt, but I you've sidetracked me for just a moment. I yep. cannot get Bruce to watch Bluey for the life of me because they film it in like special colors that like dogs can see. And like yeah. I keep seeing these people, they're like hanging out with their dogs watching Bluey. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I do Bruce will look everywhere but the TV. Anyway, sorry. But, but, go you, on. but you know what I'm saying, brother? Like <laughs> Yeah. Bluey, Peppa Pig. I love all of these. Yeah, they're but it's they're for a younger audience. They're, they're geared young towards audience. a younger audience. Okay? Yeah. That's why sometimes I wish we could figure out a way in the comic book industry 
for some reason you say it's an all ages book or an all ages tale people are like oh man, they get weird about it yeah it's not though like yeah. blake you love it murphy i love it like i have 50 60 70 year olds collect these covers and love the art and love mm -hmm. the stories so please guys whoever's watching this and, and, and you know share this and you know know the creator's heart okay that I am a, I just showed you a Surge Can Funko Pop for crying out loud. If you see back here, I have a massive Team and T collection. I love Ninja Turtles. He's wearing Ninja Ninja Turtles on me. Okay, so I'm I'm writing and creating these stories out of a mind of a '90s kid. Okay, and I'm going, my son, he's 13, going to be 14 this month. Blake, nice. He loves Glopple. Oh like, yeah, oh, that's I love cool. '90s card. It's way better. It, it's just. So I'll be invited. I got invited. I hope everything works out. The stars align to the licensing ex expo guys. I am not going to stop as long as there's breath in my body. I want this to be a massive success. I want this to be on the big screen. I want this to be on buses, not Matt Cole, not this guy, <laughs> my characters. Okay. I don't care about fame, Blake. I don't care if people know me. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. What matters is that this message gets across to people and that some kid or seven or a seven-year-old is reading this and they're going, you know what? They're in a bad day. And they're like, you know what? Gloppel girl is positive. Mm -hmm. Like, look at all the hell she went through. She went through hell. She went through a lot of problems. I mean, this little dog back here, I mean, that page, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say yeah. it. That page kills me, dude. Like, it's hard. It's hard. Page. And then the, the, the <laughs> final, that final line of dialogue too, at the I'm end like, of issue one I too. Like, so like, if you love dogs, if you love pets, it's a great book. It's going to be, for some of you, maybe a tearjerker. Okay. Yeah. Um, no death. So don't think there's no death. Yeah. We're, the dogs are safe. <laughs> the dogs are safe. Nothing, there's no death in this at all. But it, it's, man. And that's what Murphy told me. She goes, Are you sure? Are you sure you want to put your pet in a comic? <laughs> like, Absolutely. One thing I want to say real quick is Gloppa Girl's already been in the Gloppaverse. Okay. She shows up at the end of issue number two of Gloppel issue number two. Her first full appearance is in Gloppel issue number three. Cookie the dog is in issue number three. So Gloppel Girl's already been a part of this, but this is where you see how she becomes who she is. Wow. And the positivity behind it, man. So Gloppel Girl is right now on Kickstarter. I think we only have like 10 or 15 variants of that um, exclusive co cover, the collectible cover we launched. Oh, wow. Spinach, so that's selling really well. Um, we're already fully funded. Um, we had a lower funding goal this time, um, but let's not stop there. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep 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 pushing. Stretch goals are a thing. It's very exciting. Supporting indie comics is important, folks. It really is. Um, if you can't tell how passionate Matt is by listening to him talk, you must be deaf. Um, but like, and and we'll have subtitles just in case <laughs> for those of you who need them. But no, Matt is Matt is one of the most passionate people I've come to talk to on Blake's Buzz. Uh, I love what you're doing. I love that. I love that you're just trying to get everybody to read comics. And I think, I think the world needs that right now. And, and so very cool, Matt, I do real quick, uh, remind everybody. Uh, I know you, you said the legends website earlier, but look where the best places to keep track of you and Gloppel, like, let us know where to keep track of you. Yeah. So you can follow me, um, legends, kids publishing on Facebook, um, or that's the publishing company now, or you can follow me on, uh, Facebook at real Matt Cole, legendskidspublishing.com. There's covers on there right now. If you, if you need to find covers you don't have yet of the Gloppel. Uh, big thing is right now, guys, we're really trying to just surpass this goal on Gloppel Girl Kickstarter. Um, we, we have some big, big goals and we're very excited about um, Gloppel Girl. So our plan is after Gloppel Girl um, is to get Rasp, which I'm telling you, like you're wearing a Raphael hat, brother. Okay. Rasp is the daredevil Raphael of the group. Okay? Nice. I, I like the look. I like the look. He doesn't need, area. this is Rasp's mind. Okay. He doesn't need the team. The team needs him. <laughs> He's going to find out there's a more of a strength. We are stronger together when we work together. Nice. So he's, you know how Raphael all the time, you know, uh, sees, you know, he's always doing his own thing, but he yeah. finds out he needs his brothers, right? Yeah. Well, that's what's going to happen with um, 
uh, Rask. He's, he's, a, he's a softy. Him. He's a softy when you get past the shell. Well, he's, he's, got, he's got a hard exterior, but he he's when you get to yeah. know Raph, he softens up. You know? Yeah, Rasp. So his name, Rasp, R A S P, yeah, similar, right, right? Is from raspberries, but also sounds a little like Raph. Yeah, too. Like, there's a. Yeah. I like I like I like the, how much love of like OG TMNT you throw in mm-hmm. here while like still it's still very it's it's you show your own story it's your own idea but you know like if there's a lot of like visual cues and sure. then, and there's a lot of old like a lot of, some of the some of the humor and again the message like very akin to like that saturday morning ninja That's turtle right. cartoon that right. so many of us grew up with right yep. that um that i have I, I I have all the DVDs here that I try. Right. To, I watch yeah. I watch every day. Sometimes you gotta watch them every now and then. You gotta relive remember. It. Okay, depending on how old you are, I can't remember how old you are, Blake. But um, at the end of every Masters of the Universe He Man cartoon, mm-hmm. He Man came on and told a moral of the story. Hey, remember, don't be like Skeletor, yeah. right? Yeah, they're putting positivity in kids' stuff. Well, yeah. now. I'm not saying everyone, not saying everything. Okay, so don't quote me that Matt Cole said everything. No. Okay, but most things that are out there for kids or for all ages don't do that. Okay, that's why I believe in positive messaging. I believe that, you know, we need to put out messages that that kids and all age people, everyone can hear, you know, that it's just we need to bring some of the back in the world, man. There's so much crap going on. There's so much stress and there's so much like anxiety and depression. Mm. I want to put out a book that you feel better, right? Yeah. You're like, man, you read it and you're like, man, if Global Girl can do that, I can do that. Man, she yeah. went crap. <laughs> you know? So old school storytelling, man. You know? Awesome. Well, I I I love it. I and it does it makes makes me feel better reading it. Hopefully it makes someone else feel better reading it out there. Global Girl is live right now. You got to check it out on Kickstarter. We'll get all the links out for you. Follow Matt. Follow Legends Publishing. Follow Legends Kids Publishing. They're doing cool stuff. You want to keep track of them. And you know what? Supporting indie comics is the way. There's no other way. That's the way. Love more, hate less, read comics. You know how we do it. Global Girl is awesome. I love you. I will be back later. Matt, thank you so much, dude. If you have anything else left to say, now's the time. Anyone can be a hero, even you. There it is, baby!